Hello everyone! In this video, we will explore both how to create and revise MyPath plans. The Plans tab shows the student's expected progression plan for their program. Students can determine the courses they are required to select each semester and identify work terms if included in their program. We can access the Plans tab from the top of the student's MyPath audit. Under the plan list, we can identify existing plans. We can also see if a plan is active, when it was last modified, and its status. In order to edit a plan, its status must be set to not locked. You can also choose to delete a plan or create a new plan. Let's click on an existing plan to view its contents. The academic area can unlock student plans and post notes on accounts for additional information. In order to edit a plan, it must be active and not locked. To unlock a plan, click on the Edit icon and then unselect Locked. As the student, if you need to edit your plan, though the status is locked, contact your program coordinator to unlock your plan. If we scroll down, we can see the current plan and make changes if needed. Let's go over some of the basic navigation functions of a MyPath plan. We can filter through previous, current, and future semesters by using the arrows at the top of the plan. We can also enlarge the plan for a full screen view. We will now introduce the audit view of a MyPath plan. Accessible from the top of the MyPath plan, the audit view shows the courses the student has completed, courses in progress, courses planned for future semesters, and courses that are still needed. Courses scheduled for future semesters display Plan under the grade column. We can refer to the term to determine when these requirements are scheduled. Unscheduled requirements will say still needed under the course column. To ensure all program requirements are scheduled in the plan, refer to the still needed section. To add a requirement, simply click, hold, and drag the requirement to the appropriate term. We can also access the Still Needed section by clicking on the plus button under the preferred term. There are multiple ways to add requirements to MyPath plans. As we have previously seen, we can look under the Still Needed section to determine unscheduled requirements. We will now show you how to lengthen a plan, further add and remove requirements, and even create a new plan. If you need to lengthen a plan, click the Add Term button and then select the appropriate semester.
To delete a term, simply click on the ellipsis, then select Delete this term. We can also reassign a term while keeping all of its contents. Let's apply a course to the new term. There are multiple ways to add a course, so let's go through this process together. It can be helpful to review the MyPath worksheet and program outline to determine course codes and titles before making changes to a plan. We can move a previously scheduled course from one semester to another by clicking and dragging the course to the preferred term. If the course was not previously scheduled, we can click on the plus icon and provide the required information. Enter the course code and select the class. You will not be required to enter the number of credits, as this is done automatically when searching specific courses. We can also apply a course by clicking on the plus button under the preferred term. We can then conduct our search by course title. If you need to make changes to this requirement, click on the ellipsis, then select Edit the requirement, delete the requirement, or reassign the requirement. We can also add communication and general education courses by clicking on the plus icon beside the choice section. Finally, let's add a field placement or co-op work term. Once all necessary changes are made, we can finalize the plan. Let's return to the top of the My Path Plans page. As the student, if you have finished updating your My Path plan, consult with your program coordinator or advisor to ensure the accuracy of the plan. If no additional revisions are necessary, the academic area can finalize the plan by changing its status to Locked. The tracking status will inform the viewer of the adherence to the plan. Plans must be locked to enable this feature. Remember that while updating MyPath plans will help identify the student's expected progression, students must still register for courses and work terms in Banner. We will now introduce how to create a new MyPath plan. It is important to note that while students may have multiple plans, they cannot have more than one active plan. If you have an existing plan that is active, 
the academic area will need to deactivate this plan before you are able to create a new plan. Start by selecting New Plan. While starting a blank plan is an option, it is not recommended. MyPath allows the user to select from a list of pre-made templates for their program and starting term. Let's choose a template for our new plan. The first step is selecting a starting term. We can then search available templates by program code. In this example, the student is taking the Advertising and Marketing Communications program. Program code ADMC. To ensure we select the correct starting term, look under Catalog Year. We can also refer to the description for the term code. Term codes ending in 10 indicate fall, 20 indicate winter, and 30 indicate summer. Let's select the template with fall 2020 as the starting term. We have now successfully added the new plan to our plan list. This concludes your introduction to MyPath plans. For more helpful resources like this one, click on the academics page in the student portal.